Tonight, scientists are working to clear algae from Manaway Reservoir. Yeah, nobody likes that. Yeah. They are studying, though, a new approach that they say is safe for fish and wildlife, and it could end up costing taxpayers nothing. The best kind of solution. Yeah, News Specialist Mike Anderson joins us now live to explain how it all works. Mike? Yeah, Danny, Dina, you know, there's some product out there, white product that kind of floats and attaches to the uh, algal blooms and, and causing them to die. But uh, the work being done here will hopefully serve as a pilot for many more projects like it around the country. A day at the lake can be a bit less pleasant when the water is that pea soup green. I ride around this lake every day almost, and I've seen it just every day get worse and worse and worse. People like Michael Burnett, who takes his dogs for a ride, are pretty familiar with the problem here. Yeah, I don't, I don't let my dogs in the water here. Nope. That algae and cyanobacteria in there is, to say the least, more than an eyesore. I love my dogs. I ain't going to let them get killed. <laughs> And it's why scientists and workers with blue-green water technologies are in Utah seeing how they can help. The advantage of having it float is that it will follow the floating scum that people see. Dr. Jessica Frost says their oxidizing solution will eventually cause the blooms to die and sink to the bottom. When that oxidative stress is high, um, the algae cells don't like it, essentially, and they, they collapse. And they'll measure their success in part by seeing how much carbon falls to the lake bed below. So traditionally, to treat an algae bloom like this can be pretty expensive. Mike Pels, vice president over their U.S. offices, says Blue Green is working toward an affordable solution. Algae blooms are getting worse, and governments are having a hard time coming up with money unless it gets absolutely catastrophic. If the proof of concept works here, he says they can market the idea to companies that want to sponsor similar projects around the U.S. It's companies that want to be part of cleaning water and, and uh, help fund this and, and scale it out to the rest of the world. And whether that idea works could all hinge on how things turn out here in the weeks and months to come. And scientists from around the world will keep an eye on how things turn out, uh, both in taking water samples and in satellite imagery that will tell them about the chemical processes that are happening out here. And Dr. Frost says the results could last weeks, months, maybe even years. It all depends on how things go. Back to you. Well, that would sure be a welcome solution. We've had a lot of this problem this summer, Mike. Thanks.